on third and goal. Wake Forest certainly has size up front. Banged up offensive line. Two starters out today. On third and goal, here's Campanero, and he will be denied. Great penetration that time by Nate Irving to deny Wake Forest the end zone. And you call this the penetration by the NC State defense that doesn't allow them to score. Guys coming off the edge, and a great job right there. David Amerson just cleaning up the mess from his corner position to stop Wake Forest from scoring on that third down attempt. Michael Campanero and also Josh Harris. And this one going nowhere as NC State will tee off on it. And the biggest hitter, Nate Irving, brings them down for a big loss. And Nate Irving is a good one. He's a senior, goes six foot one, 230 pounds. And he's been talking about winning this Buckus Award. He's one of the semifinalists. And he got this guy can play sideline to sideline. Big physical guy, leads the team with 65 tackles and another tackle for loss on that play. Loss of eight on the play will bring up second and 18. And stinking, the advantage always goes to the offense. Right at midfield, the lineup out of the pistol. Price hands it off to Adams. And he won't go anywhere. Guess who? Nate, Nate Irving. Irving. Yeah, somebody has to block this young man because this is the second time he's had another tackle for loss, and he's playing in the backfield, and that's what you like. You like that aggressive play attacking the line of scrimmage by your linebackers going downhill. He actually moved a middle linebacker last spring. Was considered a defensive lineman, so a little bit of an adjustment. First and goal, Campanero will remain in at tailback. Bohannon the fullback. And this time, Irving will meet Campanero, and whoa! The slam. I know we've got Sidney Lowe, the head basketball coach here at <laughs> NC State, coming up at halftime, but how about that dunk? I tell you, what about the wrestling team? I mean, this is a great play by Nate Irving, and this is what you need by NC State. Somebody has to get mad. You have to have some attitude, and you want it to come from your middle linebacker, a Buckets Award semifinalist, and that was some Dick Buckets-like play from the linebacker position. That will be on a highlight reel somewhere for Nate Irving, who's already got six <laughs> tackles on the day. On themselves, a couple of starters in that offensive line out due to injury, and they've had to fill in Price with some blitz late, and he will be brought down. A quarterback sack. Guess who? Nate Irving, who's had a huge first half, now with his ninth tackle of the game. He came into the game with the three and a half sacks, and he's not buying any of those play face. He hesitates with just a second go straight to the quarterback great read by the middle linebacker Nate Irvin and this is the guy that's really taken charge of this defense when they had those string of running the football in the second quarter he gets the big hit and got everybody energized and you can tell he's the on field leader of this Wolfpack defense second and 16 shuffle pass and it's played well by Irving 10 tackles now on the day for Irving <laughs> Loss of the yard. And of course, that's the third time we've seen that's this shuffle pass. The first two times has been highly successful. And I'm sure that NC State at the halftime had that play drawn up on the chalkboard or something that we we're going to stop. And if you're going to send somebody in there, hey, send a number 56, Nate Irving. <laughs> Another tackle for loss on the day brings up third and 17. Wake Forest. Kept this one close in the first half. Had a couple of opportunities inside of the five-yard line. Could not come away with anything. And now the Wolfpack are teeing off on Wake Forest as again Nate Irving came crashing in his 11th tackle of the day. Yeah, Nate Irving has been everywhere. I mean, number 56 on your screen, but he is living in the Wake Forest backfield. Had a couple tackles for loss, a big sack. And he's been the energizer guy for this Wake Forest defense. When things were a little tight on the goal line, he stepped up and made the big plays. Starting to become a staple here in the second half for Wake Forest offensively. Forest. Here's Campanero, and he's quickly tossed down. Guess who? <laughs> Man, he's in the zone. I mean, they haven't put a haven't put a hat on this guy yet, and he's just doing a great job of running the lane. I mean, if you run inside, Nate Irving is there. You want to pass, I'm going to sack your quarterback. You try to get to the edge of the perimeter defense, I'm going to evade the cut block, and I'm going to penetrate and make another stop.
13 tackles on the day. <laughs> and Campanero, <laughs> he's going to need some ice tonight. Thanks to Nate Irving. He's been slammed down a couple of times to the turf. Now third and long. Third and ten here for Wake Forest. Price on the draw to Campanero, and it's quickly snipped out by the Wolfpack. Irving and company in on the tackle again. Backed up in your own end zone against this defense here. Nate Irvin once again, great job of playing underneath the fullback and still making the tackle. I mean, this guy's having a sensational day. Just a one-on-one -on -one effort for another big stop for the Wolfpack.